Alright, so today we're going to press a mid shaft through a mid shaft housing. And we're going to get you set up there. Um, what I like to do first is uh, make sure, of course, you got your washer that goes on before the actual coupler itself. And uh, I like to set the coupler on the shaft first before I press it through. And I always put a little bit of grease on there, not Loctite. And then you're going to have to have some type of a shaft holder tool. And all I did was just take an old drive shaft and weld a net to it as my holder. Put them in the vise. Go ahead and spin your coupler on by hand. Now we're all set to press it through the housing. I'm going to go ahead and take them off. And before I do any of that, I'll take some grease and get the seals all greased up. And in between the seal and where the bearing is, get it packed full of grease. Same with the back. Make sure all those lips have uh, grease on them. Otherwise, you might tear them while you're pressing it in. All right, so now that we got, we're over here at the press. We're going to uh, actually get the shaft pressed in. And the reason I like to put the coupler on beforehand is because that way I have something to press against. Because if you uh, if you press the shaft on top of the threads, you, you run the risk of damaging the threads as you're pressing it on. Just personal preference. Actually, let's see right there. All right, so now I'm going to press it down. And I'm going to press it so we got 19 and a half millimeters between the bottom of the housing to the ground that it sits on. See what that looks like. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for it to be, so I got a ways to go still. See I got my caliper set at 19 and a half, and that's my distance from the ground to that edge right there. So I got quite a ways to go. check. We got just a little bit left to go. As you can see, we want that edge to be along that edge right there. That's what I'm looking for. So I'd say just a hair more and we're there. All right, just press it a little bit more. I think that's all we're going to need and we're going to be right there, I think. That looks good. 19 and a half millimeters. All and done. You want to make sure you know, everything still spins nice and easy. Nothing's bound up. And then uh, you got to get some grease up in there so when you go to put it onto the shaft, everything's all nice and greased and lubricated. And there you go, you're ready to install it.